Hi friends, it's Auntie Cuckoo here bringing you a Dollar Tree DIY just in time for summer. So when I was in my local Dollar Tree, I found a few items that I thought would make a great little piece of patriotic farmhouse decor. And I came up with this little flag sign. It's definitely not perfect but it's really meant to be a piece that is rustic, something that's a little bit farmhouse with a whole lot of patriotism. So you can leave it out throughout the summer or just a 4th of July. Let me show you what you'll need for this project. So I picked up two things from my local Dollar Tree for this project. One is a boxed sign. It could be of anything. This one I just found had a guitar on it. It's roughly about 12 inches by probably six. You'll need some paint, some brushes. And then if you can find one of these signs, they come in three different versions at the Dollar Tree right now. And we're going to be using the back. The galvanized metal on the back is very farmhouse. So don't worry which print you get. We're going to be flipping it around. You'll need a few other things as well. Some painter's tape for your stripes, a dry brush for making brush strokes, a hot glue gun, and some toothpicks. So let's get started. The first thing you'll need to do is go ahead and paint your boxed sign. So I'm just unwrapping it and I wanted to see if it had a glossy or a matte finish. It's definitely glossy, so I'm going to use some matte paint on it. Now I had considered making this a navy blue sign, but I think I'm gonna use some brown and use some brush strokes over top to make it look like some rustic wood. Now this is a little bit time consuming. You're gonna want to do a layer of paint over the top and all sides of your sign first, then let them completely dry. And in the hot summer weather, that shouldn't take long, then go ahead and go in for round two. After your second coat is completely dry, you can go ahead and move on to the galvanized portion of the project. So this is the sign we're working with, and the first thing you're gonna want to do is remove the ribbon from the top. Now these little holes are not a problem. They don't show up. And our biggest issue with this sign is trying to remove the sticker. So obviously the front is also a sticker, but I'm going to choose to remove the smaller version because even that was a little painstaking. So I went ahead and moved over to the sink got it nice and wet to remove it. Now it's time to tape off our stripes and get ready to paint them. So first I'm just eyeballing all of this. I'm going to tape off a square where our stars will be and then go ahead with my painter's tape and tape off some stripes. It was not an exact science. It was just something I eyeballed. Honestly, if I did it over again, I might have used thinner painter's tape or cut this painter's tape in half to have a few more stripes. Now it's time to paint. So just using really light strokes with a white paint I had on hand, I painted in the stripes twice. Then I went ahead and removed my tape to paint in my square. And at this point, I was trying to consider if I wanted to leave that part plain and do the stars in white. But ultimately, I decided to color in the square white. Now, after two coats of paint and fully drying, I grabbed some toothpicks and I just started making little stars in the dried paint. This worked pretty well at scraping off the paint in just the right areas for the stars. Now we're going to work on our boxed portion. So I'm using a very dry, almost completely dry paintbrush from the Dollar Tree I had on hand to just barely put a little bit of white paint on my brush and create brush strokes to make it look just like wood. Now you can go as light or as heavy handed as you like. 
Now, in my opinion, this is the fun part. But if you wanted to, you could skip this step entirely and use a solid color for your box sign. You could do navy blue, red, white, but I wanted a farmhouse look and I wanted it to look like rustic wood, so I chose the brush stroke look. Now it's time to put our two pieces together. All I did was eyeball the placement, go ahead and get out my hot glue gun and cover the back of the sign with hot glue and place it down carefully. That's all, it's that simple. It was a $2 investment in Dollar Tree products with some craft goodies I had on hand. So I really like how it turned out. This will definitely be a part of my patriotic home decor this season. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this rustic farmhouse DIY. Please let me know down in the comments if you would like to see more DIYs like this in the future. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys back very soon in the next video.